What about, yeah, what about a par? It's like, yeah, it's, it's a tough, it's tricky call. Yeah, you get bonus points for pin shots, too, actually, I found out. Probably flag shots as well. Yeah. Pres yeah. Presumably. I don't know why that happens, but... Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a fair one. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Here we go. I'm all set whenever you are. I'm, I'm ready as I'll ever be. I mean, my strategizing is not great on this so far, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Is, is Vitor ready? Do we, do we know if Vitor is ready? Um, as far as I know, he said... Yep. He said he had started streaming like 10 minutes ago, so... I'm posting in their time. chats. Yeah, cool. All right, well, let's let's do it then. Okay. Uh, you give the count in. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Good luck, mate. Here we go. Good luck, mate. This begins the race two of the Mario Golf Masters, and today we'll be running um, any percent courses. Um, and the objective in this run is basically trigger the credits as fast as possible by completing, uh, by getting first place in Boo Valley. Um, and Boo Valley triggers the credits um, for some reason, even though Mario Star is a course after that. Um, but um, so therefore that's all they have to complete for, uh, for the purposes of this run. And as you can see, Pickles gets a quick lead off the bat by making his birdie putt and Juice missing his birdie putt and having to settle for a par. That's especially bad in this category because uh, you want to have as low of a score as possible in order to skip as many holes as possible. And by, in this category, you're allowed to skip holes, um, but you still have to score well enough in order to unlock the courses as you go. Is one of the preconditions for this run is that you have to erase your file from the beginning. And uh, if you don't get enough points uh, by getting birdies and getting a good score, then you will you won't unlock the next course at the end of the round. the credits by winning Boo Valley. And if you play as Peach... Being bothered by notifications? I think what I did actually in my PB or in okay. a reasonable run... So, I played as Peach. looks like... Oh, yeah, in my PB, uh, I, I made this whole that, RNG doesn't matter as much as it did in all courses because on, 15, on any given par 4, just a clip of um, with a few uh, exceptions, Peach can hit holes. the green in 2. Um, so w w RNG won't be that much of a factor. Go um, just because... He chits it so short. I think I'm going to give up. So as you can see here, Pickles is doing his first give up on a par 5. So and the way the scoring works is that whenever you give up a hole, you are automatically given two times par. And um, in order to give, give up on a hole, you had to have and taken at least one stroke. You don't have to... Okay, so basically the way it works in this game is in order to unlock the next course on any course except this. Well, okay, on all the courses, you have to get a certain amount of, like... And another major difference in this run is that we're playing with Peach as opposed to Metal Mario. And that biggest difference being Peach hits a lot shorter, but she also hits a lot straighter. So it's, in theory, a, a lot easier to aim the shots and predict where the ball is going to go. But the disadvantage is that you hit a lot shorter. And because on Toad Highlands, you only need, like... Six or seven birdies. And the reason why you can't use Metal Mario in this run is because you have to erase the file at the beginning of the run and you do not have all the characters to start with. And then win Koopa Park. And you can usually win Koopa Park with one or two give ups. So Goose, just a few seconds behind Pickles here. So yeah. Okay, Jack Austin, that's cool. If it happened. Um, you know, let him know. Let's see if Goose decides to give up on hole 7. I believe he will. Oh no, he decides to go for it. So, Pickles gave up on 7 and 8, and Goose is deciding to play 7. Maybe he doesn't feel as confident uh, in his score uh, later on. Or maybe that's the result of getting a par on hole 1. He doesn't feel like he can do this safely anymore. So, he will be completing this hole, which means he'll likely give up on hole 8. Ooh, almost got the eagle there on seven. And Pickles also giving up on nine. So he gave up. I believe Pickles says he, uh, for when he does PB attempts, he gives up on nine out of the eighteen holes, which gives you just enough points to unlock Koopa. Oh fuck! I gotta give this shit up. And Goose realizing he needs to give up on hole eight, so let's go of a shot. Unfortunately, caught, loses the power because he realized it too late. And uh, Pickles deciding or. 
on the side and Pickles landing his two shot right next to the hole and secures the birdie. So Pickles is in good standing. He gave up on three holes, um, or sorry, four holes, and um, is already, or now his fifth hole. And we'll move on to the twelfth hole. And Goose deciding to play the ninth hole. So it looks like his strat will be to give up on as many holes as possible later on in the course. Um, and he will have to do that at some point because he can't... Uh, um, if he doesn't give up on all the courses or on all the holes, then he'll be severely behind just after Toad, which, unlike all courses, can be a significant disadvantage early on. And then we'll quit out the rest. So I'm going to give up the next two holes as well. Really, oh, what a shot, dude. What a shot. He was also landing his two shot right next to the hole for the easy birdie butt. And meanwhile, Pickles playing 14 gets dead wind. Very happy with that as the RNG gods are in his favor. So here's the three meanwhile, Goose giving up on 11. Similar to Pickles. So you can see Goose only has plus 21 as opposed to Pickles 40, plus 48. So you can see that Goose has a, a couple of... Um, a couple of holes that he can still give up on. So it looks like there he's two holes behind right now, but he's not in reality. Didn't quite make the eagle putt. Um, but man, to knock it in. He's probably still a few seconds behind though. Um, even with the give ups taken into account. So so very good. Um, very good shot by Goose. Uh, making the birdie a lot easier on thirteen, and he'll definitely will need this birdie in order to help him get enough points. Um, because he got that par earlier on hole one. Meanwhile, Pickles still doing very well, giving up on 16. I think he's birdied on everything except... I think he's birdied on every hole except the, the ones that he's given up on. So he's in good shape right now. That's wild. So I think this should complete. If it doesn't, it's basically race over. I've got like eight birdies. So you can see Goose, this is where Goose is catching him. Now he's only one hole behind and he's giving up 16. So he's just about one hole behind. I should probably get a ninth birdie. I'm actually kind of worried. So I think this time loss can be pretty much attributed to not getting a birdie on hole one. Because now he's worried he doesn't have enough points, and this could be brutal. So he just, just decides to give up and um, is going to risk it. It's been a little bit challenging trying to keep up with how many birdies each player got, but I believe both of the no, both of them have secured enough to unlock Koopa. For Toad, there is no hard score requirement in order to unlock Koopa. It's um, it's essentially how a combination of your score and how many birdies you get. Because birdies get, uh, give points individually as well. Okay, I probably won't fail given the way the splits are. I should just give this up, but we'll just try to make fucking sure. It's probably quicker to just tap this in than to give up. Pickles getting the birdie early on in Koopa. And Goose getting the par. I believe he should be fine. Uh, okay, yes, he barely got Cuba, so he's doing just fine. So he's about a hole and a half behind Pickles right now, and all the progress that, and all the birdies and all the combinations of holes that they got on Toad doesn't really uh, carry over into Koopa. They're essentially starting fresh and a um, new set of experience points to be gained uh, on this course. Actually, really good. Holy, just the angle looked bad because it wasn't on the green. You get trolled like that in this game all the time. So, Pickles just finishing two, and Goose so finishing I one. Also, I was plus sixty-two. Goose got a little bit better RNG on two, yeah, but um, as we talked about earlier, 
the wind doesn't have as much of an effect. Um, as you saw, Pickles had a rain and pretty brutal wind. And he was still able to make the green in three and secure the birdie. So Goose should be able to do the same with this calm wind. Ooh, almost the hole out on Pickles' side of the screen. Here's the birdie easily. Ooh, another near hole out on Bike Goose on the par 5. I believe the strat here is you give up hole 15 because hole 15 is fucking nuts. But yeah, as Goose mentioned, one of the choke points on Koopa is hole 15. But thankfully, since we can take advantage of giving up and skipping holes, we don't have to play that course. So that would be, a, hole 15 would be an example of one where the wind and rain plays a huge factor in whether or not you can get a birdie. So that's typically the one runners choose to skip. That being said, tomorrow is get 108 birdie badges from a fresh file. So that one thing I've noticed about Goose is that he loves to club up to the wood in order to get the lower angle and the faster travel time. And sometimes it pays off, but as you can see there, it was a long putt. And thankfully he still made it, so he was able to secure the birdie. Um, but Pickles likes to go for the, the higher shots in order uh, for the better accuracy. And... So far, it seems to be uh, paying off. That's a, that was a nice shot. No, I gotta be up Christmas to um. So over the weekend, we're basically and out a lot of the house. Like it was hard to notice um, as this because the scores score screen quickly was skipped by both runners, but uh, you need fifty experience points to unlock Koopa from Toad but you need 250 to unlock Shy Guy from Koopa. So there will be a lot less skipping going on here because they'll, need, they'll actually need to get um, a good score in order to uh, unlock uh, the next course. And once you get into the hundreds of experience points, you're going to need um, the bonuses that scoring highly or scoring lowly um, gets you. So we won't be seeing absurdly bad scores like plus 60 like we did in the last course. And other documents and so tomorrow between 10 and 2 a shredding company is going to come and take it away and shred it for us um so yeah that's that's what is going on tomorrow. there isn't as much analysis to do on their shots this time because as i said earlier the hitting shorter and having a straight shot doesn't really give you much creativity over your shot like even if you're hitting the top left of the ball like goose just did um the trajectory doesn't change that much just because peach is um, each is one of the four beginning characters, so they want to make the shots easier for players that are new to the game. But there's still, um, it's still not a given. You still have to understand what you're hitting and um, know your play style, pretty much. And I think this run has shown that even with beginning characters, both runners have vastly different play styles. Put away you know, your tax receipts and your your shit that you keep. So we we've looked at it all. It's been a multi-hour. We've been doing this since Saturday basically. And uh, yeah, so we're keeping a fuck. We we're we're, we're we yeah we we're keeping a percentage of it that's that should be kept. What's up, bubbles? By Pickles the having a little bit hard of uh, RNG to deal with, but he um, played his two shot way to the right and played with the wind to put the ball close to the hole and get the birdie. He saved a little bit of time over his PB in the front nine of Koopa. And we'll probably see him give up on a hole or two in the back nine. Definitely hole 15. But probably two or three more holes in addition to that. Neither runner has really lost or gained time um, over the other throughout the front nine. Just because no one's skipped any holes yet. You're a youngin. You're a young dude. You still have your whole life ahead of you, Bubbles. You can avoid turning out like me, you know? It's true. I didn't start streaming on Twitch until I was 23, so... You have a, a lot of life ahead of you, dude. Think about all the time I've spent streaming on Twitch, and in your life, none of that's even started to happen yet. Crazy. 
The goose is just about a minute behind pickles. Forgot to split there, but comparing the two times. Yeah. So updates on Trixie is yesterday. You know she had her ears wiped out, cleaned, some medicine put in. Today she's, you know, the same. I don't know if Wax is coming back. It's too early to tell. Um, you know her ears are still sore. That's you know nothing new basically. Situation continues to be monitored. Pickles is doing a little bit better score wise, so um, with a th he's two holes ahead, but has a three stroke advantage. So he, depending on how risky he wants to play it, he might give up on an extra hole over Goose, but he probably won't just because this is a race, and there's no reason to risk it. Seven, you could biologically be the father of like a seventeen-year-old. It's kind of fucking crazy to think about these sorts of things. Thank you, Fluffy. Man, I fucking missed Cooper Park nine again. I missed the same split twice in a row. I would say the front or Cuba is probably one of the most boring oh, courses, just because shit. it's still easy enough that there aren't many choke points um, in your peach. So the shots aren't hard to deal with, even with bad RNG. Um, it's pretty much just playing until you get to Koopa 15, and then the skipping starts. Ooh, Goose hitting the rough on hole 12. Pretty detrimental. He'll probably lose his stroke. I have a hard time seeing him get birdie from here. Um, or maybe he can still pull it off, but typically... Um, you want to get on the fairway to try to get as close to the green and give yourself an easy chip on and then securing the birdie with the putt. So here we can see Pickles is running the Coupe of 15. This RNG would probably not be able to get birdie depending on the, the lie randomness that he gets. If he got bad luck, he wouldn't be able to hit the green and not get the birdie at least easily. So he's skipping on 15 and now you can see he's skipping on 16. Um, Shit happens, boys. Literally, shit happens. Dines to play 17. He's he's even overall in the, uh, this course, so including the give-ups, so it's probably a good idea to play 17. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, it definitely wouldn't even be possible to win the tournament without playing 17 and 18, so he will definitely do that. Oh, no Red Wolf. The experience is not... Or, it kind of does. The experience you gain in one course um, kind of contributes to your overall experience in the game. But getting a birdie... Your score and your birdies in Toad don't affect your score in future courses, if that makes sense. So, when they finish the course, as Pickles will about to here, he will uh, start from where he left off after Toad. But none of the play, none of the playing that he did in Toad, will affect how many points are deducted now. So I guess to answer your question, no, um, it does carry over, but not. So, Pickles secured first place by scoring one under, and by getting first place, he gets the bonus and gets enough points to get uh, unlock shy guy. And so I think Pickle or Goose forgot that he can skip, or maybe did he? Maybe Goose skipped earlier and I just missed it because he's at minus two right now. Or maybe he um, didn't get enough birdies to be able to afford to give up on that hole. So he'll play 17 and 18 as well. But he shouldn't have any problem securing first place and the bonus to get Shy Guy. Oh my god, am I stupid? What the fuck was that? Ooh, that's not good. That only loses 10 to 15 seconds because of the shot, but um, 
since he's at minus two right now, that won't really affect him going into uh, for unlocking the course. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But the biggest time loss was not getting enough birdies to be able to skip sixteen because you pretty much you're essentially playing a hole that you didn't have to play. And that's a time save that Pickles will happily take advantage of. Should all birdie this hole though. Fuck, that's actually gonna be bad. This could go in the water. Okay, that's fine. I'm still losing time. What the fuck? I have zero idea how Pixels got like a 52 in this category. It's fucking nonsensical. Pickles playing a pretty straightforward first three holes, gets birdie on all three of um, all three of them. Meanwhile, Q's just finishing up Koopa. About two minutes behind, two minutes fifteen seconds behind Pickles. Um, so the lead is starting to grow for Pickles here, and um, we'll probably not let any of that lead go in Shy Guy. So you want to be able to give up whole Just because there are no major time losses that could really give that up. That's plus 10, which is a lot of... It's just, consistency is a key in uh, any percent because uh, you want to be able to get as many birdies as possible in, in order to afford to skip holes. It's not appropriate to attack... Ooh, almost chipped that in. Users? Oh, fuck. On Goose's side. Pickles putting to possibly secure his fifth birdie. It looks like he narrowly missed it. Underestimated the break. And will sell for a par, but... One par in the first five. He's not worrying too much right now. He's getting some good wind. If he's really lucky, he'll be able to... Pl um, Play for the green in the second shot here, but looks like it's just too much to the right and not enough out, so he will um, just miss the green. Very interesting. I haven't heard anything about it, dude, except for you, from you, which is kind of interesting. Oh, like I'm not saying I, I, I. One thing we can be paying attention to is at the end of each course, if you get a birdie. Uh, it shows the total birdie badge counter, and we can see over the course of the run how many birdies each player has got. And it looks like Pickles had just had 29, and Goose has 22, and um, he is four holes behind, or three holes behind. So um, even if he birdies these next three, he'd still be two or three below. I knew not, like, okay. I don't want to say I knew nothing that I was talking about. I wasn't fucking... I just said and as Koopa showed, that um, and it worked. that can be a pretty big factor in time loss. Is like, hmm, how hive mindy can I be to store fake internet points? It's quite literally designed for like virtual signaling. You could argue Reddit invented virtual signaling in modern. Rooms that at best. Let's switch over to Pickles have, Audio just to see what he's at talking about. Worst, you'll probably you'll have Sunny. So. Wario is really hard to beat because Wario can outdrive both Sunny and Maple. So, Pickles decided to skip hole nine. Uh, as we talked about yesterday, hole nine of Shy Guy is one of the longest in the game. So he will not hesitate to give up on this hole and move on to hole ten. Isn't really prepared to deal with that. Like the AI doesn't rubber band like that. It doesn't, you know, play to your level. It's, it's fairly static. Goose securing five birdies in the first five holes. But um, like, making up for that one part that Pickles missed in the first five, or one part that Pickles got in the first five holes. And if he continues to play this way and gets a little bit lucky with Pickles 
then he can skip an extra hole. So Wario's like but that would require um, perfect execution and Pickles to mess up a few holes. So we'll have to see how it plays out. From Sunny. Like Wario's way harder than Sunny. It's really not even close. I got kind of a in-between distance here, so I had to take a frame off and not get all the way on top of the ball. What do you mean? What do you mean, Lee? So considering that skip that Pickles took on hole nine, he's sitting at plus one. Yeah. Just still on pace to win the tournament. Like you only start with four characters. Maybe so skip one more hole depending on how he plays. One course. Yeah, it's it's definitely not an arcade style game. I'm also having like a really good run of this category right now. Like Goose is actually playing pretty well too. He's like He's four holes behind me, but he's four holes behind me with a give up. So he's really only three holes behind me. Um, and given that this is like a competitive time, discounting the give ups. Goose has, having, has been having a pretty good shy guy. I think he's been, been able to keep toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with Pickles. Um, after that first two two whole, uh, courses that he lost some time on. He's got good front hole location. And if he remembers this hole correctly, he should hit it a little bit soft so that the ball doesn't roll past the hole and have that situation happen. So you typically want to hit it short when you get that hole location because you'll let the ball roll towards the hole and not curve around and have that disastrously long roll time and the insane slope that he had to deal with just now. That's just one of those things that um, if you haven't played the game for a while, you might forget that, but um, next time you'll play it, I'm sure you won't forget. Ooh, two to three feet away. On the par three for Pickles. One thing that's interesting about Peach is that it's a lot easier for her to get hole-in-ones. I mean, not that hole-in-ones are easy um, for anybody, but by having the straight shot, um, if you get very mild in the wind, getting a hole-in-one is a lot more manageable because you don't have to deal with the draw that Metal Mario has. Ooh, one thing I just noticed is that, or I just remembered, is that Goose played hole nine of Guy Guy, which Pickle skipped. So, um, maybe as Goose is playing, he uh, just didn't think to skip on hole nine, but that probably cost him 30 to 45 seconds. And if he skips another par five, if he ends up skipping 17, then it'll save him, um, or it will lose. Um, about 10 to 15 seconds as opposed to skipping hole nine just because nine is that much longer of a hole to play the rest of this play is pretty straightforward um, The, their play styles aren't drastically different with Peach just because there isn't, as we said earlier, there's not much that you can really do to affect the shots um, compared to the more advanced characters like Metal Mario. I mean, but you can still you see minor differences in how um, he always goes for the power and if he can, if he's far enough, he'll go for the one of the one woods or three wood on the second shot. You can see he just clubbed up for his forward, even though two iron probably would have been satisfactory and probably ideal because he's hitting up five yards of uh, elevation. So the two iron would probably give him a better angle at the green. 
but he still prefers that hard hitting low sh uh, low shot that the wood provides. And with that, Pickles unlocks Yoshi Island. That would be an equalizer. It would give him a chance. The The next two races, I feel like Goose has a much better chance than the first two. That's not to say he has no chance in either of these two. He obviously does. In terms of raw talent, Goose is the most probably the most talented player in the world at this game. In terms of just raw talent. But Goldeneye is his love. So he's going to put way more time into Goldeneye than this. But if Goose put as much time into this as he put into Goldeneye, he would... He would have as many world records as I do right now. The next thing to look out for will be Goose playing 17 just to make sure he ends up skipping it. Because um, forgetting to skip that hole would be uh, pretty bad for his time because he'll go minus 12, minus 13, minus 14, but um, that's 10 strokes that you could let go by giving up and save uh, time with. And th those getting those extra strokes doesn't or not using those extra strokes doesn't help you in any way going forward. Since hey, what's up, Anonymous? Like I've never, like, Glad to see you, man. From this game. I mean, I've stopped Hope you're enjoying the Mario Golf. Pickle's getting the par on hole two. Hole two is very challenging for Peach because you can't affect the trajectory of the shot, and since you're going up about 30 yards of elevation, you can't hit your shot significantly higher and since it's a long par four you'll pretty much need to bring out uh, the, the four wood or three wood in order to hit the green on your second shot and those are very low just by nature so that's what happened to him on hole two but he's able to make up for it on hole three and secure the birdie um, ooh but ran into some very bad rng so yoshi is Probably the course where RNG, or Yoshi and Boo are the courses where RNG will affect Peach the most because they start to get more challenging and they add these extra complexities like um, extra slope. Like he's dealing with 40 yards up a hill and all these trees um, in the way um, that the other courses didn't have nearly as much of. But he's still able to hit the green in three and put it right next to the hole. So he played that very well, and we'll come out with a birdie. Meanwhile, Goose playing 17 didn't skip, so that's that's going to end up being very costly for him. Um, you, in any percent courses, you have to take advantage of your skips in order to be competitive. Um, but I think we we can chalk it up to one of those things that he just didn't think and um, remember since he hasn't played the game in a while, but. So he, he is skipping 18 and will probably will he will finish with a minus six, but even that is still a few more strokes over what you need to secure first. So, um, a little bit of untapped potential. Um, is playing. He played excellently. Um, but unfortunately, didn't come up with as much time save as he would have wanted. I totally agree with you, Monarch. Like, if if Goose pumped a bunch of time into this game, like I said, man, I, I think he'd still be top three, if not top one, in the world. But ooh, barely misses the green on hole one, and will likely have to settle for a par, which is not a good way to start a very rocky Yoshi Island. You really want to get every birdie you can take here okay, this is gonna be interesting. in order to afford a skipped, uh, skipped hole. Okay. Pickles deciding to hit, um, not go for the far island and go for the deep rough on the far island and pray to the RNG gods for lie that will put him closer to the hole and it looks like it paid off because he was about 20 feet from the hole. And has an easy putt in, or not? I jinxed him. Announcer's jinx. 
Barely missed the putt and we'll have to settle for a par. But I think he was planning to play safe anyway because he probably knows he's a few minutes ahead and um, wouldn't risk skipping two holes or three holes, I should say. I'm sure that I'm sure that'll happen. It's not like people have been trying to do that for you know damn near twenty years now, right? Uh, I only need a four more lead, and there's there's two three. Another factor that comes into play with skipping holes is that since skipping holes gives you a score of two times par for that course, um, the question sometimes comes into play whether to skip. Um, or what combination of holes to skip um, because you can skip two you can skip a par four for eight strokes you can skip a par five for ten strokes and depending on your score um, you might want to if you do well enough so you get two more birdies than you were thinking you'd get then you might want to skip a par five which can save even more time but if you don't get as many birdies then um, you won't have enough strokes to afford to do that so you'll have to settle to give up on a, whole, a par four instead Not a free birdie hole, so I'm not surprised this is happening. Uh, and Pickles with the chip in secured the birdie. As you as you heard him, probably heard him say, um, that wasn't a hole that he was expecting to get birdie on. So having that chip in just provides a little bit of a safety buffer for um, being able to give up a longer hole versus a shorter hole. Slow. So, even though he gets wind, he gets very favorable outwind and gonna go for the green in two, which he can, can afford to do because 20 miles is extremely out. You can see he blew it way past the hole and we'll have to hit a 60 foot putt. But if he gets this eagle, he's in very solid shape. Ooh, narrowly under hit it. Um, so, I mean, he, he won't be disappointed with a birdie because he, you definitely don't expect to get 20 miles out on, on this kind of a hole. Meanwhile, Goose hearing the par on hole six. Um, I've been following Pickle's last few holes, so I'm not sure how, uh, what his birdie total is at. But um, I don't think he skipped any in the first. Yeah, if he skipped any, he would definitely be in the positive. So looks like he's only gotten one birdie so far, or maybe a couple birdies in a bogey. But either way, um, He's got very good wind on hole seven, so he's going to go for that eagle because he knows he needs a little bit of a score, um, score bump in order to uh, give up a hole later on. The only guaranteed one remaining, like for sure, I should never fuck it up, is 18. I should never fuck up getting birdie on 18. You can see Pickle score is minus nine versus Goose's score of minus one. Goose does get a second birdie, which is good. And, um, but Pickles is still sitting at a very comfortable seven strokes ahead. Um, but he does have five more holes or, to play. Goose has five more holes to play, so he could make up a little bit of that. But um, he's going to want to get every birdie he can take at this point. If he wants to give up later. If I don't play seven under. Fourteen is interesting because you can see there he'll have to hit a little bit under the ball in order to hit it high enough to get over that bunker um, that's just randomly in the middle there. Thankfully, Peach does have enough flexibility to take care of that shot. You know what? So he's still able to secure the birdie. Yes, thanks. Should we make this interesting? Rather. Right. Maybe more. 
believe it or not, 15, even though it's a par three, um, Pickles probably wasn't expecting to get a birdie there because he got 15 miles an hour out, which is pretty much guaranteed to blow past the green if you um, land on the green. But he was able to hit it right in front of the bunker and chip it in. So um, with that, he will give up on this par four, which will put him at minus four after this hole. Now I have to make birdie on one of the next two holes. Yep, and as you said, um, each... One thing I've neglected to mention is that each course has a different threshold for getting first place, um, which means you'll have to play a little bit better in each hole, and that's harder to do because the courses are harder themselves. So it's a little bit of a um, two-factor challenge um, with as the run goes on. But he got front hole location, which definitely happy about, and will likely get that birdie that he needs to secure first place. Supposed to do in the world record route. You're supposed to give up a par four here. So being able to give yep. up So he is definitely happy with how that Yoshi played out, even though he'll um, end up losing bad. a few seconds but over I his PB. PB is insanely good. So for a race, he's definitely happy with that. Meanwhile, Goose also getting crazy outwind on 11. So he's definitely going to go for the green in two. Um, oh, yeah. And I think he kind of has to at this point if he wants any chance at um, skipping. But he really needs to get every birdie at this point in order to have that chance because, um, as Pickles just said, you need minus five or minus six to guarantee first place. Look at how much time I lost on this course, by the way. Let's go. Pickles gets the par and is able to move on to Boo with that gold trophy. That's how good the world record run is. Let's see. Do some cheeky brunette maple. Goose is sitting at minus six right now, and I believe Pickles is at minus nine at this point. Uh, so Goose will have a lot harder of a time um, being able to skip, and if he wants to play it really safe, he probably won't skip any holes. Um, because this is a race, and um, yeah, but I mean, primary I objective is completing the run. Time on that course, you know what I mean? Like, I played that course pretty well, and I still lost Boko time. So one thing that happens in Yoshi is that you get enough birdies to uh, secure like, Maple, or um, Maple isn't secured, but if you get enough birdies, um, you will be able to play Maple and Boo. So that is one thing to um, kind of a back pocket strat if you get enough birdies is that you can play um, you can play as Maple, who is a lot stronger than Peach, but still has that straight shot. So you'll have a lot easier time getting birdies. And we can see where Goose is sitting at. Ooh, he got some bogey, so we won't be able to see how many birdies he has. But with 50 birdie badges, you can play as Maple, but you can't switch to Maple until the end of the course. So Pickles was able to do that. Um, but we'll check in on Goose in a second to see if he can still do that. And playing as Maple opens up an opportunity to get Eagle on par fives and a lot easier to get birdies um, okay. everywhere else. Still, this is a category I pumped so much time into that it's like kind of crazy. So. Like, that would have been a big deal if I didn't have Maple. But I have so even it. though he's out of bounds, he's still able to get the par, which is not that much trouble. But... Um, that is two strokes that you definitely want to have back just as a safety pocket.
three birdies through four. Pickles is definitely happy with that. He's on track for first place. Um, to really ensure you get first place on Boo, you probably want to get minus seven, minus eight. But unfortunately, Goose got another bogey, so we won't be able to check his birdie count. And playing as Peach in Boo is um, very hard. And uh, makes just, just makes it a lot harder to get shots that are just um, piece of cake with Mabel. And by virtue of being able to hit harder as Maple, you're able to change the trajectory of your shot by changing the positioning of the ball. Or not changing the positioning, but change the positioning of where you hit the ball. And affect the trajectory just a little bit more. Still not as much as Metal Mario, but enough to make a significant difference compared to Peach. And with that, what? Here's the birdie on six. And the fifth uh, birdie out of six holes. So if Pickles keeps up this pace, he'll, he might have a chance at skipping a hole. Boo. Which you know is pretty huge, especially for a race. Is the entire tournament, I was like, I don't really care for Gonzaga. I don't. I don't I think everyone thinks they're a nice story. I don't really want him to win. And then halfway through the game last night, I found myself rooting for Gonzaga. It was really strange. Like halfway through, I don't know if it was because I knew you stood to win money on him or whatever the case may be. Ooh. Like Almost dunked that. And I was so Pickles, or sorry, Goose is able to secure first place in Yoshi Island and unlocks Boo. So at this point, it would really take multiple out-of-bounds shots by Pickles, and just a disaster for him to not get first place on Boo. Um, so, but since he's Goose is only seven holes behind, if for whatever reason Pickles did not end up getting first place on Boo, he still would have a chance at winning this run. So it's definitely not over yet, because remember the goal is to get first place on Boo Valley. But unfortunately, this outwind will not help him much because the only chance of getting it closer to the hole is to um, to hit just short of the green so that it bounces in the rough and rolls onto the green using the wind. Um, but that's pretty pretty hard to aim for. So he'll just aim for the hole, hope for the best. So after that um, streak of birdies Pickles has, he has gotten par in the last few, but chips it in here for a birdie, which is pretty sick. And we'll go into the back nine of Boo with a minus six score. And it's definitely on pace to get first place, but still needs one or two more birdies and no bogeys to secure it. Minus six is possible to get first, but it's not nearly guaranteed. So as you can see here, having to play Peach on Boo um, doesn't give you any chance to hit this par five in two shots. And with this wind, it definitely would have been possible with Maple. But Goose will have to use his fourth shot to chip it to the hole, and or chip it in. Excuse me. You guys will see a really Still gets the birdie. Race between you and Goose because so having to play with Peach, going two for three on the first three holes of, um, of birdies is very good and puts him in great position to win the course. And getting Pickles got birdie on hole 10, so as long as he gets par and everything here, he's in good shape to win the course. And and the run.
What's up, Yaz? Birth control. I hope you've been enjoying this run. Yeah, you're not long gone. Two holes in a row. Pickles got dead wind. Um, you'll never complain at dead wind, especially on a course like Boo. A lot of out of bounds spots and slopes and bunkers. Much longer bacon so if you have something that you want to mean save it because it's literally only gonna be like five more minutes maybe ten tops I'm just gonna finish this up and then post juice while he's doing his gold mine runs so if you plan on dropping a bomb here save it if you would be so kind oh you have a shower okay yeah well five minutes and I'll be out I'll be out looks like goose is still on pace for a sub one hour though so um, definitely a solid time. Considering he, uh, he hasn't played this category in months. Really stupid arm juice. Yeah, it's like a big wall actually. Probably only three to four minutes behind pickles. Despite playing all those um, holes in Shy Guy and Yoshi. super interesting by giving up here and then trying to make birdie out of the next two but I, I think I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna eagle on 17 anyway so it didn't end up being super interesting I would have actually only needed one more birdie to have a 50 50 split chance at it the very interesting thing I could do would be give up this next hole Goose looks like he's got five birdies in his first seven holes, which is outstanding considering you're playing with Peach. And you should definitely be happy with how he's uh, played and um, dealt with that. And getting dead wind on eight only makes things easier. And if he can secure a sixth birdie here, I mean, it looks like he's doing just as well as Pickles has been doing with Mabel. So if he keeps this up, he will have a shot to skip a hole, but he will pretty much have to birdie out for the rest of the course to, in order to have enough strokes to skip a hole. So, uh-oh. Accidental A-press in the middle of the shot. Going out of bounds there is very bad. Just because it costs two strokes, essentially costs two strokes. The one that you hit out of bounds and the extra stroke that you get by hitting it out of bounds. But decides to save and quit and come back to avoid that. So loses a little bit of time, but won't have to deal with the stroke penalty that he otherwise would have had to incur. Pickles playing nearly out of his mind here and as he just said he has a chance for a gold split which he can get um, easily because he can skip 18 uh, as a result of playing the first 17 very well. We'll save 20 seconds over his PB and ended the run at 52-54. Goose not sitting too far behind, about to finish up the front nine of Boo, still on pace for sub one. Ooh, this wind at his face is pretty bad because um, this is another very long par five, um, which you want any advantage you can get. Whether it's wind or lie or anything. This 
It still decides to bring out the forward despite only being a 140 yard shot. And as you can see, that didn't exactly pay off because he has to hit it from a slope on the green edge. About 40 feet away and have to settle for a par. So that pretty much put a nail in the coffin of any chance he had at um, skipping a hole. Um, but it's definitely still on pace to win the course. He just it essentially needs to stay at plus zero for the rest of the course to win and finish the run. Ooh, got a very bad bounce on the rough. Couldn't do much about that, so he'll he'll just do this same putt that um, <laughs> since it went over a hill, it flew in the air a little bit and um, soared past 100 feet, which is the theoretical max of a medium putt. But so we'll unfortunately take a bogey on this hole, which puts him at odds with um, not finishing in first place, but. He only needs one birdie, so definitely still has a chance. We'll likely take a par here too, just because of that um, need to chip on a second shot. I think I'm going to switch back to Pickles Audio for the end of his run. What the fucking fuck shit? Ooh. Probably won't have enough distance to carry it to the, um, to the green from there, but still going to go for close to the rough. Or was able to clear the fairway and give himself an easy chip towards the hole. You just read her Wikipedia page. And saw that she was like getting invites to PJ events when she was like thirteen or some shit. A little bit overblown, but I mean, she has one still a doable putt. So she's like a perfectly but she does women's golfer. No problem. She's, she was hyped to be the fucking you know. People at a point in time believe that she would be playing on the PGA tour with men. And, and they're going for this, you know, uh, the bigger island on like, uh, Boo fourteen. He's definitely trying to play it safe in order to secure the birdie that he needs to um, all but guarantee first place. But he does. She's won two majors? No. No, she's won one. She won like one U.S. Open, I thought. Unless she Looks like with that putt, gets that birdie. And is in good shape to finish the run. Mild wind sets him up for a very good yeah, putt. Exactly. She has won. Played the wind brilliantly and got the easy birdie. So even if he gets a bogey, he should still be in good shape. But with this dead wind here, he'll likely want one last birdie to um, definitely put to rest any concerns. Like that's not a joke either. That's like legitimately a problem for women's golfers. And that should do it. Not end the run, but prevent any chance of the run dying. Size of their the Zumbas. Makes it difficult for them to be consistent. Ooh. 
he's never heard them called the Zumbas. And with his slight outwind, and despite having the rain, he's able to hit the green on two. So there's a chance at the eagle, but unfortunately, um, slightly under hits it because of the ups, um, the uphill battle and the rain. But still gets the birdie and. We'll play one last hole to end the run. Here we go. We're gonna get to sub one hour. We're actually probably not even gonna get sub one hour here. Ooh, that, that dude wasn't even seeing that. I think he still has really? very small chance of getting a sub one. Got to put this in twenty feet of the hole. That looks a little bit too hard. So. Hilarious. Don't think he has a chance of sub one anymore. I guess it could have been if I hit the green there. And nailed the putt quickly. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I'm just not paying any attention to this game. Oh, will he get it? Will he get it? It's hard when you can pay. You can play a video game for an hour and not pay a second of. Oh no! Okay. There it goes sub one. Wow. Rip and pepperonis. One oh 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 six. It looks like his timer says one oh oh five. Oh. Regardless, only one bogey, or two bogeys, um, on Boo. One of them didn't matter because the run was already over at that point. So, very solid back nine for Goose. Having to play with Peach. Um, gets first place with no issue, and ends the run. I'm going to whiz. When I come back, maybe I'll like analyze what the hell happened um, with Pixels and um, Pator. That does it for day two of the Mario Golf Masters. Pickles takes round two with the time of 52.54. Heretic uses one hour and five seconds. That puts Pickles overall, that puts the overall score at Pickles two and Goose zero. So, looking forward to day three, it looks like there's, um, Slight chance that day three gets pushed to Thursday, and both race three and four will be played. And I think race three is all birdie badges, and race four is um, any percent ring shots. So those are two categories that Pickles hasn't run that much recently. So Goose will have definitely have a better chance at uh, taking one of those and forcing a game five. Um, uh, on one of those days, but we'll have to see. Anyway, I think I'm going to head out now because it's getting late where I am and I've got work tomorrow. So, um, hope you guys all enjoyed it and have a good night.